Welcome back. You are watching Breakfast Television. Your time is 623. One of our top stories today, and it happened late last night. Patrick Brown now disqualified from the federal conservative leadership race. The party says it became aware of some serious allegations when it comes to wrongdoing. So let's bring in our Tammy Sutherland here, um, because when I saw this come through late last night, as you as as many people might have been very surprised, it felt like it came out of nowhere. The explanation um, not very clear or not very specific at this point. But unfortunately, uh, Patrick Brown, he has seen a lot of hurdles, let's say, in his political career. Oh, yeah, big ones. It's a kind of like deja vu this morning when I woke up and I read uh, the news, Mel, that he had been disqualified for this leadership race. We know 2018 was a really tough year for him. Uh, it was the beginning of 2018. Patrick Brown was the leader of the Ontario PC party. He was on a clear path to beating the then premier, uh, that's Kathleen Wynne, the former Liberal leader here in Ontario. And uh, that was destroyed one night by sexual allegations sexual assault or misconduct allegations that were made against him and within hours he was forced to resign after uh, several members of his staff resigned as well. Uh, we know it was a tearful resignation that night. Mal, I'm sure you remember and that paved the way for Doug Ford then to become the new leader of the PC party in Ontario and then eventually now a, a two-term premier here in the province. So uh, yes, this definitely felt like something familiar, this happening once again when Patrick Brown seemed to be on a clear path to victory or at least being a front runner. And then it all comes crashing down. Um, it, it's, it's interesting because um, the ballot, many people are writing the ballot would have already been printed for this leadership race and his name likely to still appear. Uh, I know you've reached out to his campaign team in his office. Um, saying that legal counsel is going to be brought in. But I'm wondering if there are any possible chances that his name can be put back into this race. Um, I'm going to say probably doubtful, but it, it is a matter of us actually learning on a public level on what the wrongdoing was, right? Right. That's what we're going to be looking for a lot today, later on today, for specifics about that wrongdoing. Uh, neither the uh, committee that disqualified him nor uh, Patrick Brown's campaign putting out any specifics about what it is exactly he's been disqualified for. But like you said, it'll be interesting to see whether or not he can be put back on this ballot officially. And if not, it will be very interesting to see whether or not he will jump back into the race to be reelected for mayor here in Brampton. We know that the elections are coming up in October, so that could be a possibility for him as well. We'll have to see what really comes down in the next few days. And a lot can happen in the next few days, as we all know. Uh, Tammy Sutherland, thank you so much for that context, and we're going to get back to you very shortly with more on this story as you continue to gather information.